when it comes by, it just hauls ass. Yes, it does. So I'm hope they're kind of late to the party with the whole Top Gun thing. But, uh, <laughs> well, Motion lowered their price, so I decided to get one of these uh, 90 millimeter F-18 Cs. The only reason I stayed off of it is because it's a C model, and I prefer the um, uh, what's it called, the uh, Super Hornet, but they just don't have any available at 90. Um, so you guys saw the other video, which was a 70. That flew really well, but my only thing with it is it was a split elevator, so it didn't have uh, full flying uh, rear stabs. Um, the F-18C is, is pretty cool because they hid the uh, elevator servos, um, so you don't see it at all. Mm. It's really clean on the fuselage. Um, so they basically hid it behind this panel under the elevator. We usually see um, control surfaces and rods and all that, but mm -hmm. now it's, it's clean. So that's good. <clears throat> I mean, I'm sure everybody's seen videos of this thing. It's not a new model. Um, one of the things that I have particular issues with was landing because um, this thing doesn't like to land slow. Um, you know, it's designed to land on carriers, so it needs to have power. <laughs> so just keeping that in mind, um, especially with full flaps down, you need power to land. Because um, I'm, I'm used to like landing with a glide slope. <clears throat> but this guy needs uh, glide slope and power. So I was landing too slow and it was porpoising on the landing, so I didn't need to practice it a couple times to get to, to land properly. But in the air... I mean, just like a demonstration of how to land this thing with, uh, with power, because uh, most of the other planes at this size can almost glide in. Um, like I said, I usually glide, uh, land with a glide slope, so I don't need too much power coming in, but this guy has a heavier wing loading, so it's a little bit more power, especially if you're trying to come in with flaps down. All right, so taking off, uh, I'm gonna take off with no flaps, just to get maximum speed. Watch that sun. Watch that sun. So gentle rollout, get it to track straight, and once you get good, uh, once your nose is straight, then you take off. The track gears. <clears throat> One of the other things I have an issue with on this plane is the landing gear doors are uh, mechanical. Mm -hmm. So I had issues, uh, like even now I can see that one door is still down. Um, I tried modifying that so many times, but they're really sensitive. Um, problem with it is like once you get um, takeoff speed, uh, the doors kind of uh, get affected by the wind. So sometimes they misalign and then, and then one gear doesn't go up. And I've tried uh, messing with that door several times and even put a carbon fiber strip just to kind of minimize the play. But it's the door itself that's kind of causing it to, uh, to stay down. So it's just a hit and miss. Sometimes you get up to speed, bring your gear down again, lower your speed, uh, get less, get less uh, drag on that uh, door, mm -hmm. and try bringing it up again. Let's see if this goes in. Nope, still down. So yeah, it's a bum. <laughs> bum setting on that door. So gonna still try to fix it. <clears throat> but otherwise in the air, it's, it's an awesome flyer, man. It, it's you know, really super, it's not a super maneuverable jet. It's not like the Russian jets, but it does, you know, pretty tight turns at high rate. Um, silhouette wise, it's awesome. It just, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's an it F-18. An F-18, yeah. yeah. But, yeah, between this and the other 90s, this one's pretty quick. I mean, I've been getting a lot of comments from the guys asking if they upgraded the motor, but no, this is the stock high-performance motor from Motion uh, Free Wing. And it's just... When it comes by, it just hauls ass. Yes, it does. So I was hoping that once I get that gear sorted out, it could, you know, come in a little bit faster, but even then, it's not lacking for power at all. Did any other people have problems with the gear? Or yeah, so? a lot of the guys who have um, the same model here, they fly the Blue Angels one, and everyone's got the same gear. Mm. Three minutes. Some guys have taken it off. <laughs> uh, just taken it off entirely. Uh, but for me, it's like I'd rather keep that door if I can. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going to try to land. Okay. So I'll show you guys like how um, I land this thing, or how I learned to land it, because I had a little trouble when I first got this model. But basically, you know, control your speed, get a good glide slope, you know, drop your flaps. I, I usually land at half flap now because I feel like full flap is too much. So that's not so good. I'm going to take off again. That wasn't bad though. It's all right. But I'd like to get it cleaner. <laughs> land it. It's kind of hard to talk and land at the same time. <laughs> 
So manage your speed. You know, once you get to your, um, once you start turning for your, your final approach, um, you know, try to you know, be at a good altitude, then drop your speed to get the motors to just whir a bit, and then drop your flaps once you level out. And that should get you at a speed where you're sinking constantly, but not, um, you know, gaining too much speed. Nice. So it does land a little hot even with one, flap one down. Yeah, that's flap. uh, that's pretty quick. Oops, crap, coming out the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the other thing is like you gotta bleed off speed before you even attempt to turn. Yeah. Otherwise, you know, very narrow wheels. Um, and if, if you try to turn with too much speed, it's gonna scrape the tips. But the good thing about the wing tips is that they're plastic, um, and then if you, if you scrape it a bit, at least it doesn't damage the foam. The only thing that's unfortunate is Motion doesn't sell the wing tips separately, mm. which is unfortunate because you got to buy the whole wing set, yeah. which is about 65 bucks plus shipping. So it's uh, it's a lot just to get a, uh, you know, a wing tip rail if you scrape it. But you did something. Yeah. What'd you do? I 3D printed a, sep uh, a new one, mm -hmm. and it actually kind of balanced out the plane. Um, because with, with my stock setup, for some reason, it was tipping to one side. And then when I printed the um, 3D um, uh, pylon replacement, it kind of balanced out the weight. So it, I don't have so much trim on it anymore. Yeah, you found it on like Thingiverse or something? Or? Thingiverse, yeah. yeah. And then I printed it out. And it's it fits exactly. I didn't have to make any adjustments. Yeah. Um, once I pulled it off the printer, it just popped out the um, the spacers for the, the holes for the screws. Mm -hmm. and it literally slotted right into place. I'll show you guys the, um, the print versus the Yeah, so this is the 3D printed side. Mm -hmm. yeah, I printed it in gray um, PLA, and then the other side is the foam with the plastic kind of skirt around it. Got it, yeah. But the weight difference helped to compensate for the wing. Um, or it's what do you side, mean? So, uh, before I had tr a lot of trim on the opposite side oh. just to get it to level out. Yeah. But when I put this on, it kind of balanced things out. And I Six. didn't have to trim it so much. Got it. But that's that. So yeah, just um, you know, note to anyone who's considering this plane, um, it lands kind of hot even with flap one or yeah flap one down uh flap two which is this setting i don't like it because it, it it it's really kind of squirrely when mm -hmm. you co come in for landing um so problem with it is like you can compensate with power mm -hmm. but it starts to wiggle a lot oh really i don't like that feeling yeah. uh, coming in for landing so i go to flap one um land with just a little power maybe 10 15 percent just to keep it you know those glide slope um uh, you know, pretty clean, and then you'll land a little hot, but then you need to bleed off speed just before you take that turn to okay. come back. Okay. Very cool. Otherwise, it's a great flying plane. It's one of my favorite ones. Again, it's one of the faster 90 millimeters. Sounds awesome in the air. Only issue is that dang gear tour. We'll try to sort that out. All right. Good job, man.